Uh, this is the texture that I'm looking for in an aftershave bomb. I, I do not like sort of the milky, runny ones. This has got a nice, dense thickness to it. Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina. Today I have three products for review. The first is a combination of the soap and aftershave from Cooper and French. I've enjoyed their products in the past. This is, I believe, a re-release of what's called Santa's Workshop. This is a limited release for the holiday season only. This came in what I would describe as hot, in the sense that it had only been poured into the containers a few days before. It is not available yet, I don't believe. Um, this soap has not yet had a chance to cure, so that's how hot it's come in. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a very light beige color. It's your sort of average, easily dentable, softish, hard soap, crope. Um, the scent is described on the aftershave bomb container. Let me just read to you what that says. A warm, sweet, smoky, comforting accord of vanilla, patchouli, and honeyed pipe tobacco. And the primary scents I get out of the soap are the vanilla, the honey pipe tobacco. It also includes leather, which for me is kind of a gentle undertone, and then what is described as Christmas cheer. Uh, the soap is in fact a tallow-based soap and it includes uh, coconut oil, but then the additions are sunflower oil, castor seed oil, and avocado oil. Easy to use, easier to lather. So I have that pressed into the Captain's Choice loading bowl. I think I scooped out too much for this time because I got plenty left over, so that'll be no issue to build up a ladder from that. Talk about the scent in just a minute. The brush for today, let me just shake out some of the water, is a 26 millimeter uh, two band badger from DS Cosmetic. It's the last of the three that I have to review. Um, I think the handle has got a very cool kind of like uh, mother of pearl sheen to it. It's got a nice mixture of colors in there, relatively large handle, and in the scheme of things, that's for you know who, easy to hold. So, big brush, it's opened up quite a bit. It had a bit of funk when I got it, but I let it sit in a very light dilution of um, white vinegar, only for five minutes, no more than that, and then did a couple lathers, rinsed it out, and the funk is basically entirely gone. I've not lost a single hair from this knot, quite nice. Okay, before we start the lather, let's take a quick Yeah, a little test sniff again. Well, yeah, for me, this has the vanilla and the, the tobacco sort of merge. What I get is kind of a vanilla and also a bit of cherry scent out of it. There's a touch of leather in there. Patchouli doesn't seem to really, you know, jump out for me, but um, overall, a very nice, sweet, gentle, very pleasing scent. Every time I smell this, it kind of brings a smile to my face. Very, very nice in the scent front. I'm going to go ahead and start lathering up, but first, before we forget, let's talk about today's razor on a Maggard. I think this is the MR5 handle, I believe. Today I've returned to the Muda R41. All I have is the head. I don't have a corresponding handle, so I've just put it on this, uh, this Maggard handle. And in there is a Persona Lab Blue, I think on its fourth use, third. Fourth, 100% the fourth use, maybe. All right, let's get my face wet, let's get the lather going. Yeah, I've used the um, Cooper and French soaps before, including the uh, the old goat, which also had goat's milk in there, which I, of course, I always like the milk-based soaps. Big, uh, bit of a soft spot for those. All right, let me get this lathered up. Dry brush, big, beautiful knot, very soft tips, a good mixture of sort of backbone and splay. Uh, really, really enjoyed using this brush all week. Start with a bit of a dry brush, and then what I'll do is I'll just drip a little bit of water in there. I'm going to load, as always, a bit heavy. It's two days worth of growth. You can hear that just doesn't sound wet enough yet, so just adding a bit of water to the bowl. Yeah, and you can immediately hear a bit of a difference. Become a little bit thicker and a little bit more pasty. That looks good, but I'm gonna load a little bit more. 
yeah, I think the soap is just going to continue to improve because, as I said, it, it's, it is basically fresh out of the soap making process, has not had a chance to sort of sit out and cure it all. So I may just leave it sit for a couple weeks with the lid off and see what happens. There we go. That is looking very, very good. Yeah. That looks fantastic. Okay, can you wet my face again? As always, start with the wet face and I'm gonna drip just a touch of water onto the brush so you're starting off with a bit of wet on wet. Very nice soft tips to the brush with a tiny touch of scritch. It's not scratchy, it just has a tiny bit of scritch or scrub to it. Scent strength on the soap, I would say, is distinct to strong. Um, definitely lasts throughout the shave. Not overpowering, not overly sweet, not too much of like an overly candied or honeyed scent. There we go, I'm gonna add just a touch more water and just put a paint that in. Yeah, nice. Very easy to use soap. A good sort of creamy, dense lather. All right, let's go ahead and start shaving. This is about as far from the uh, Dorco from last week in terms of its level of aggression. So that was an extremely mild razor. I decided, well, why not? Let's jump all the way to the other end of the spectrum. Let's pick an aggressive razor out of the mix. I think this is the most aggressive razor that I have. I have to say though, I have to say that this is a efficient razor that in, uh, I just don't really enjoy using. I don't really know how else to put it. It is efficient, but I just do not find it comfortable. It does the job. but I just don't like how it feels when I shave with it. You know, it's 100% taking the hair off, don't get me wrong. Razor is kind of absurdly efficient. But for me, that balance is a little too tilted Also, I'm using a bit of a heavy handle, right? So that means you really have to sort of watch the pressure that you're exerting, just really let the razor glide as much as you can. I've also had every day some tiny drop somewhere where there was a speed bump of skin. The razor's just whoosh, And they're usually just tiny spots of blood. It's not like you've cut yourself. But it's like you're somehow shaving too close. And yeah, I, yeah, not a big fan. Well, first pass done. Easy and quick. So the soap, by the way, has what I would say is like a very light residual slickness. I don't know if that's in part because it hasn't had a chance to really sit yet, but it rinses pretty clean and pretty quickly. And it has some residual slickness, but not a great deal. All right, 
there's a lot of lather in this brush. I'm gonna pull it up from the bottom, drip a tiny bit of water back onto the brush, lather it for pass number two. Yeah, this razor is definitely one where if I was to use this every day, this would be my daily, my daily razor, I think I'd be using some kind of pre-shave oil just to get that extra added bit of protection. A little too kind of raw and close on the skin, but that's just for me. I definitely prefer the milder, more comfortable razors. And it does sometimes drive me crazy to see forum posts. I think I've talked about this before where for some reason people seem to feel like the only true shave is the most aggressive possible shave. I've always, always been an advocate of close and comfortable. You know, if you start sacrificing comfort because you're just trying to push the shave too close or shaving with a razor that just doesn't feel good, I think in the end you're just, you're paying a price really not worth it. Okay, this is the across the grain. Again, very gentle, no pressure, just let the razor glide over the skin. Yeah, you can see there's a tiny spot right there. No idea what happened there, but never felt it cut or never really felt anything happen, but there was just like a little, a little drop the other day. Light, light, light. Yeah, nice slickness to the soap. Easy to use, easy to lather. As you can see, no dissipation or thinning. Other thing about this razor is that it is taking all of the soap off, right? So if you try to now shave back over where there is no lather, I think that Certainly with most soaps out there, you're going to find that the razor is kind of catching or hitching because in fact there's nothing left on your skin. Right in the cap a little bit there. Very light pressure on the buffing there. All right, so far so good. Pass number two done. Let's move on to pass number three, the against the grain. Mm. There we go. Yeah, I'm definitely one of those people that rinses in between passes. I know there's lots of you that don't, but for some reason it just feels like I don't know, it just feels like the right thing to do. I'm gonna load a little more soap. I've just dipped the tip of the brush in the water a little bit, just to pull up a bit more. I have plenty in the loading bowl, so there's really no reason not to use it. There we go. Yeah, I have to say, I have been very happy with all three of the brushes that DS Cosmetics sent. This knot has been a real pleasure to use, honestly. It's big, it's got a nice, tiny bit of scrub to it, good backbone, a slightly larger handle. Right, I'm just going to pull some of the lather up and off. That looks pretty good. Paint that on. Yeah, and see, I can already feel in my skin a little bit the fact that it's shaving very, very close, and at least for me now, given sort of what's happened with the temperature and the weather around us now, we've had cold weather come in very abruptly. 
it's gotten cold and sort of staying cold, we have forced air heating in the house and that means that there is an immediate impact on my skin. That's probably true for most of you. The forced air is just very drying. So something like this where it's really on the skin and my skin's already a little bit dry, it's not a great combo, frankly. All right, here we go. This is the Against the Grain Pass. Very light, really take advantage of the soap slickness here. Don't overshave, even though I can still hear feedback. Yeah, sensation down here is just unpleasant at best. And after Wednesday's, Wednesday's shave, I was really tempted to just drop this razor, move on to another one, but I really hate to do that. Finish what you started. All right, let's leave it right there. Yeah, the scent in the soap is just a nice, light, sweet, very pleasant. It's a good combination. I, sort of, I do like the sweeter tobacco scents. Obviously, I don't smoke myself, but when you smell like a sweet, uh, like a pipe tobacco, and this sort of mixture of vanilla and honey, to me, adds a nice undertone of cherry to it for some reason, which I quite like. All right, let's towel off. That's enough rinsing for one day. Well, that is the first day this week, honestly, where there isn't a tiny spot of blood somewhere. So, <sighs> somehow, I don't know how that happened fully expecting there to be at least a bright spot or two. All right. Yeah, extremely close, very nice shave in the sense that it is close, not a pleasant or comfortable shave really at all. But let's close that out with the Cooper and French Santa's workshop aftershave balm. Now, I think I've described this previously, and this is the a reformulation of the aftershave balm. And this includes, and here's where I wish I had my glasses because this font is a little small. It does include sunflower seed, jojoba oil, meadow foam seed oil, and a touch of wax. I believe those are the, those are the primary as well as aloe. Uh, this is the texture that I'm looking for in an aftershave bomb. I, I do not like sort of the milky, runny ones. This has got a nice, dense thickness to it. I may have put on it a little too much. Let's see. Oh, see right there? The bottom. No matter. All right, let's see how that does. I think I grabbed a little too much. All right. Warm my hands up as I always do. This absorbs quickly and easily. The scent 
to me has a touch more of the leather in it. It still smells sweet. It still smells of the tobacco, the honey, of the vanilla. But in the balm, the leather comes out a little bit more than in the soap. Yeah, that just feels really, really good going on. And because that razor is so efficient and it's just taking the stuff right down to the skin, I feel like this is a perfect way to end it. It's got a nice kind of a, a slightly waxy, thick feel to it. So your skin is not going to feel sort of overly greasy or anything like that. Um, you'll be able to feel it on your skin for quite a while. And I know that the scent lasts, although I could only smell it a little bit. I've had a colleague or two who during the week have said, something smells really good. What is that? And I, of course, always point to myself. Wow. Yeah, that balm is very, very nice. It's a great way to end that shave. Yes, this has that texture where I would always rinse my hands afterwards. So let me just do that. There we go. Yeah, very happy with that combination. The uh, combo of the soap and the balm worked very, very well this week. Very, very happy with that. And it's always fun to get something early, which is this uh, this limited release, which is not, I don't think exactly available yet, but which should be available very, very soon. All right, lightning like a recap. Let's roar through this. Let's get through this one first. R41. Yeah, yeah, this razor works. It's very efficient. It is not comfortable for me. I don't really enjoy using it. Of course, I'm going to keep it because it's kind of a nice thing to have in the collection. But frankly, I don't think I'm going to be pulling this out very often at all. Um, it's more of a have than to use razor head for me. No issues with the handle, but the razor head, yeah, that's not the one for me. All right, the brush. Let me get that up there so you can see that. I hope you can see that. Diaz Cosmetic 26 millimeter knot. This is the two band badger. Beautiful knot, no shedding. Tiny touch of funk when I got it, but that's very easily sorted. I do love the sort of the other uh, pearlescent or mother of pearl touch in the handle for the acrylic. Very cool, a lot of electric blue handle to it. Big, easy to hold, very nice knot. Opened up quite a bit after the first couple of, first couple of rinses. Very, very pleasant to use. Good backbone, tiny bit of scrub. Wonderful, very, very happy with that. Uh, today's soap, the first part of Santa's workshop. This is the shaving soap from Cooper and French. As I said, a towel-based soap. Very easy to use, easy to lather, good slickness. I do find it to be a touch drying at the end, um, but that may be simply because the soap hasn't yet cured. I don't really know. But the fact that it's a little bit drying is really no matter because once you're done shaving, apply the aftershave balm. And this has been a fantastic combo all week long. Very nice scent on both of these. I think the leather comes out a little bit more in the aftershave balm. I love the texture. I love the face feel. This as a reformulation of the previous version, I think is a big step ahead. Very happy with both of those products. Well done. And I'm hoping that they're out soon. Um, I'm not sure what the release schedule is, but uh, it does say, in fact, on the label, limited release. So if you're interested in this kind of scent, uh, then make sure you go ahead and pick this guy up. All right. I think that's it for today. I think we're done. Yeah, you see? Right there. A lurker. Not a weeper, but a lurker that comes out after the fact. Well... Uh, every day this week, another reason why that razor is just really not one of my favorites. In fact, I would be so bold to say one of my least favorite razors, in fact. All right, well, that's it again for today. Thank you again so much for watching this shaving review. Really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these. As always, please feel free to leave questions or comments against this video or any previous video. I try to get back to those as quick as I can, and I really appreciate people's additional feedback on some of the items that other people are posting, so please keep that going. As always, thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.